It is my pleasure to interview Mr. David Cromwell. Dave is the COMEC project manager and he is director of operations and technologies. Hello, Dave. Hi, Brian, and thank you very much for that introduction. Yes, uh, let us begin the interview with some background questions for context. Mm -hmm. Where were your parents born? My father was born in Cookshire, Quebec, as his father was before him. Uh, my mother was born in uh, Paspibiac and shortly thereafter moved to New Carlisle in the Gaspé. And I might mention that she was a, a playmate of René Levesque when they were both little boys and girls. Uh, where were you born? I was born uh, in Montreal at the Montreal General Hospital, actually, and grew up until I was 12 or 13 uh, on the West Island, uh, and then subsequently moved after my father retired to the Eastern Townships where I went to high school. And where did you receive your education? Uh, I received my elementary education at Briarwood Elementary at the end of Sweetbriar Drive, which I lived on. So it was a great easy walk to school during the day. I don't think it's even called that anymore. Uh, and as I mentioned previously, we moved to the Eastern Townships where I received my uh, secondary education at Massey Vanney High School. Uh, I then went to both Dawson and uh, Champlain College to get my CEGEP. I went on from there to Concordia, where I majored in English and cinema, minored in cinema. And then finally, mid career, uh, I had moved to Toronto by that point in the 90s. I got my degree from the Information Technology Institute in Applied Information Technology. And what is your occupation? I am a retired project manager, uh, mostly in the private sector. Uh, I say retired, but uh, certain things have brought me out of retirement, this project being one of them. And where do you live now? I live in the beautiful borough of Notre Dame de Grasse in Montreal. And now we're going to ask some questions concerning your experience living in Quebec today. What is the best thing about living in Quebec for you? Well, it is my current home and my ancestral home. Also, the land and geography offer so much. Living in Montreal, I have mountains and lakes to the south and east in the eastern townships. The same to the north in the Laurentians, the beautiful St. Lawrence River, and the ocean on the eastern shores of Quebec, as well as quick proximity to the United States. Also, the diversity and richness of, in living in two distinct and strong cultures, as well as cultures from around the world. Describe your relationship to Quebec in a single word. Well, I could tell you, like many of my interviewees in this project, I struggled with this one. I came up with two and settled on one. The two I came up with was, were complicated and conflicted. In the end, I decided on complicated. Where do you feel most at home in Quebec? For example, in communities based on language, culture, profession, or geographic location? I would have to say where I live currently and where I was born, Montreal, and certainly where I spent my formative years in the Eastern Townships. How would you define a Quebecer? Well, to paraphrase René Levesque, anybody who lives in Quebec, pays taxes, is a Quebecer. As far as official definitions go, I believe it is up to Quebecers themselves to define the official definition of a Quebecer, not the government of the day to decide. So do you think the official definition in Quebec includes you? Uh, 
Well, as I said previously, I believe it is up to Quebecers themselves to define the official definition of a Quebecer, not the government of the day to decide. Has your sense of identity as a Quebecer changed over the years and in what ways? Yes, it has. I was born, educated and worked in Quebec until 1982, when at the age of 26, moved out of the province to live and work in Ontario in the US, mostly in the greater Toronto area. Now this move in my early adult life allowed me to appreciate the perspective of the rest of Canada towards Quebec. Uh, and upon my return in 2017 at age 61, being closer to the realities of day-to-day -day life in Quebec, I again gained another perspective. These three different perspectives over my lifetime have given me an appreciation for both the richness of Quebec and its unique complications and challenges. What are some of the most difficult things about living in Quebec? Ah, politics and the government imposing their ethnocentric view on how Quebec should exist moving forward. You know, living in a province or a nation where the rights of the collective majority now supersede basic human rights is both regressive and dangerous. The energy, time, and money being devoted to this approach uh, of the current government is reducing the time, energy, and money that should be devoted to the basic needs of all Quebecers, such as healthcare and social services. In recent years, some members of Quebec's Anglo Francophone majority have identified a number of linguistic and cultural threats. Which of these concerns do you share and support? I am and have always been a supporter of the fundamental rights of Francophone Quebec to protect and defend their cult language and culture. I also understand and appreciate the inherent challenge of doing so in an overwhelmingly English speaking North American continent. What I disagree with is the current government's approach, which is to restrict the rights of the English speaking minority as well as other non Francophone minor minorities to achieve this goal. There has been no study nor evidentiary report that this approach will achieve the goal of protecting Franco the Francophone language and culture. In fact, the study upon which Bill 96 was crafted is, is based on a study conducted by the Office Québécois de la langue française, which has a vested interest in a particular outcome. Neither the methodology nor the raw data from the study has ever been made public. A more inclusive approach would ease tensions and reduce polarization. Which of these concerns make you feel excluded or targeted? I would refer you to my previous answer. Uh, I think that covers the, this question. Thank you. What is the biggest problem facing Quebec and how could it be resolved? Again, everything I mentioned in my previous response to the previous question, uh, healthcare, social services, business and employment opportunities are being sacrificed at the altar of the current government's wrong-minded and misinformed approach to this social engineering experiment. On a scale from one to 10, indicate by a show of fingers, how strongly do you feel that the joys of living in Quebec outweigh the challenges? Well, I'm a little torn on this, so I'm gonna give this response. I'm gonna say six to seven, six to seven. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to say about your sense of identity or belonging in Quebec? Yes, I would. As a proud Quebecer whose maternal and paternal ancestry dates back over 200 years, I was brought up in an Anglophone family. I am a product of an antiquated and wrong-minded approach to the non-Francophone education system of a certain era. So were my parents. My father and his father before him always practiced and by extension taught me the importance of understanding that Quebec is French by majority, therefore respect and this necessity of tolerance and inclusion 
on both sides of the language diaspora should be actively practiced. Thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed and for being part of this important project. My pleasure, Brian, and thank you very much.